What's up guys? So today I have a little bit of a different video. Um, this is basically something that I found when I was procrastinating doing my homework last night, not gonna lie. It was due at like midnight. I hadn't even started it and I was on this page at like 11. So I don't even know how I got through that. But <laughs> basically this is a list of solved missing person cases. Um, and there's just a ton of like crazy stories on here. So if you guys do like this video topic and you want to see something similar to this, um, be sure to subscribe and like the video so I know to make more of them. And let's just jump into it. So this first person was named Katie Beers. She was 10 years old. If you look right here, this is like the age, the name, and the year that it happened. Katie Beers disappeared on the 28th of December, 1992 during a shopping trip with neighbor John Esposito. John Desposito. Oh. All right, not gonna lie guys, the rest of this one was kind of boring, so I'm just gonna cut over it, but um, just basically know that there was this little girl and she got kidnapped by a family friend and she got locked in a little secret room in the basement, which is kind of crazy, but it doesn't really compare to the other ones. I mean, the other ones are just absolutely nuts and this one was just kind of tame, so I'm just gonna skip past it. I kept the little beginning bit because of the Despacito thing. I just thought that was funny, but I don't know. Maybe it wasn't worth it now that I think about it. Whatever, just, okay, play the next one. Michael Anthony Hughes was abducted at gunpoint from school on the 12th of September, 1994 by a his stepfather? No trace of the boy has ever been found. Floyd is considered a suspect in the hit and run death of his wife, whom he had abducted as a child and raised as a daughter. Okay, I'm not cutting in again after this, but literally, I don't know how I didn't process this while I was reading it, but this guy literally kidnapped a girl, raised her as his daughter, and then married her, and then hit her with a car and killed her. What? In a 2015 interview with the FBI, Floyd admitted to killing Hughes the same day of the kidnapping and is currently on death row for the murder of another woman and the abduction of Michael Hughes. What? So he kidnapped his stepkid at school by gunpoint, killed him that day, and nobody talked about it for 21 years? That is crazy. Eight-year-old friends Julie Leune and Melissa Russo were reported missing by their families on June 24th, 1995 after they left the Russo home and did not return. Their bodies were found buried in the garden of a house on August 17th, 1996. For between five and nine months locked in the basement, the girls starved to death. Oh my God. Oh my, okay, wait. So these girls were kidnapped, held in a basement. They starved to death and then they were buried in the garden. What the hell? And they didn't find them for like another year and a half. They found them in the garden like that much time later. Dude, that is so weird. Whoa! What? Oh my god! Abducted less than one year old. Kamaya Mobley was abducted on the 10th of July, 1998, shortly after her birth, and was recovered 18 years later after being raised by her alleged abductor. She was only eight hours old. She was eight hours old and she was abducted from the hospital. She was abducted eight hours after birth by a woman impersonating a nurse, reportedly dressed in hospital attire who entered the room, assisted and conversed with the mother and later walked out with the baby. Ooh. Are you, f what? That is crazy. The abductor was believed to be between 25 and 35 years old and possibly wore a pair of glasses and a wig. She was dressed in a floral blue smock and green scrub pants. The abductor was in an abusive relationship and had just miscarried, so she stole a freaking child from the hospital. Okay, this is freaking crazy. So she literally wasn't even charged. She wasn't even charged until February 2018 when she pleaded guilty to kidnapping. That's like 20 years later. Kamaya still communicates with her kidnapper, Gloria Williams, who she still refers to as her mother. Bentley, a teenage girl in Ashburn. I'm like getting freaked out just reading these. Bentley, a teenage girl in Ashburton, New Zealand, disappeared on the 31st of December, 1998, while walking her family dog in the afternoon. After an extensive search lasting two weeks, her body was found in dense scrub, approximately 40 kilometers away. Police consider the case to be a homicide and it remains one of the highest profile cold cases in New Zealand. Her killer has never been identified. Imagine like your sister or like your daughter goes to walk the dog and then is found 40 kilometers away, dead. 
Nobody has any idea what happened. She was just dead, and it's presumed she was murdered. Dude, that is so scary. It took them two weeks to find her, too. So both of these people were 16. Loria Jaylene Bible and Ashley Renee Freeman were American teenagers who disappeared between the evening of December 29th and the early morning hours of December 30th from Freeman's home in Welch, Oklahoma. The Freeman home was burned, and Freeman's parents were found murdered. However, law enforcement was unable to find any trace of Bible or Freeman in the rubble of the home. Dude, the craziest thing is these people are just assumed to be murdered. They were never found. Okay, Freeman's parents were found murdered, so those were the only people who, who we definitely know were dead, but the kids were not found. They could still be out there somewhere. I feel like they would have found it. I mean, I, I know that they, they really analyze like every single piece of evidence when it comes to like a destruction of a building or something, but to have not found them is weird. I, I almost don't think that they were probably even at the house. I mean, they were probably at the house when it was lit or when this happened, but I don't think that they died there. I don't know. Maybe like the murderer took them and like, like killed them somewhere else or something. I don't know. All right, getting into the 2000s, <laughs> a little more close to home. Barry disappeared on the 21st of April, 2003, the day before her 17th birthday. She was walking home from her job at Burger King. During captivity, Barry gave birth. Whoa, what? Wait, back up. Just over, wait, was she not pregnant beforehand? Was she pregnant when she got abducted? Just over 10 years later, on the 6th of May, 2013, Barry escaped along with Michelle Knight, Gina DeJesus, and Barry's daughter. Okay, I just thought I'd stick this before the next part. I think it's pretty obvious what happened and why she had a kid while she was in captivity, um, but we're about to talk about rape and some other things, so I just thought I'd put this here. If you think anything like that is going to set you off, I would click off and watch something else right now, um, but if not, just stick around, I guess. This is kind of crazy, um, but here we go. So apparently Ariel Castro raped Barry, and then they had the kid, and they escaped when she was six. He pleaded guilty to 937 criminal counts of rape, kidnapping, and aggravated murder as part of a plea bargain. He was sentenced to life plus 1,000 years in prison without the possibility of parole. Okay, so Michelle Knight was one of the people who was kidnapped. Um, she disappeared on August 23rd, 2002 after leaving a cousin's house. She was 21 years old at the time. On the day of her disappearance, she was scheduled to appear in court for a child custody case involving her son Joey. Oh no. Authorities believed that she had run away voluntarily due to anger over losing custody of her son. Oh no, so they thought that she ran away, but she was really kidnapped, so they didn't even try to find her. Amanda Berry disappeared on April 21st, 2003, the day before her 17th birthday. That is weird. The FBI initially considered her a runaway until a week after her disappearance, when an unidentified male, probably Castro, used her cell phone to call her mother. He said, I have Amanda, she's fine, and will be coming home in a couple of days. What the heck, dude? Okay, this is like a really recent one. This one is 2020, April 22nd. Vanessa Gillian was a 20-year-old woman who was serving in the United States Army at the time of her disappearance. She had told her family and close friends that she was being sexually harassed by a fellow soldier, but never made an official complaint to her chain of command. Gillian was last seen on April 22nd at approximately 1 p.m. in the parking lot of her unit in Fort Hood, Texas. On June 30th, 2020, authorities discovered human remains along the Leon River in Belton, which after examination indicated that they were indeed Gillian's. The autopsy revealed that the cause of death was due to bludgeoning, which I did not know what that was at first, but it's to beat someone repeatedly with a bludgeon or other heavy object. Okay, I'm assuming that it was the person who was sexually harassing her. Um, I guess technically we don't know right now because this is so recent, but uh, I think it's fairly obvious who it was. <laughs> Oh my gosh, a man who went missing on March 25th, 2017 in Indonesia. His remains were found two days later inside of the body of a reticulated python. What the heck is that? I mean, I knew it was a snake. I did not know it was like, I mean, I guess it had to be a big snake because it freaking ate him. Okay, so my camera overheated and I didn't get to finish that one. Basically, that guy got ate by a freaking snake and they found the snake like not able to move because it literally swallowed this guy whole while he was in his backyard like crazy i don't know how long he was missing i think it was like two days no a couple hours i don't remember um but 
Uh, I hope you guys like this video. Sorry my camera died. That was kind of weird. But uh, if you like this video, uh, definitely please give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you want more. Um, and please subscribe for more stuff like this. Uh, if you guys like it, I'll definitely make more videos like this. Um, yeah, peace out, guys.